Hello, this is Christian. In this video, we're going to continue building this app. Now, last time we added this data already, so it's working uh, nicely. We are going to perform the delete operation for this app. And since this is the easier one, uh, and then we'll do the edit and the add new ones uh, much later. Okay, so I'm going to close this now. I don't need a boost app anymore. All right, so let's go into our app code. And here, again, this is the app.js file. Now we're going to update this delete. When we do a delete, remember we passed the ID from down here uh, to the delete function. Then we pass ID, whatever the ID is. And we need to go and find that ID and just um, delete it, remove it. Now our data, if you look at the flight data, looks like this, right? So this is the ID. If you pass in the ID of six, or uh, or five or four whatever it is then we need to delete that now how do you do this right because the id does not match the index uh, well you can say okay well the first one is index zero id is one so we can say if it's, if it's index if id is one then we decrement that get index zero well it only works for this case what if i change this id to be something like that right then it no longer works so what i'm going to do is going to match this id here match to ID. If it's matched, then return the ID, the index of this ID, <clears throat> uh, where the ID is found, return the index back, and then we will um, uh, splice it, right? We'll splice it at this particular location here, um, and we'll, we'll just remove it from the uh, the list, okay? So that is the plan for this part of the, of the, of this uh, assignment. Well, so, um, okay, so let's just say that if I go back to the ID here, I'm going to show you. So it has a lot of fields, and we're looking for the field of ID, all right? So if I go to the browser, I'm just going to show you how this works so we can implement this. I'm going to press F12, and let's say that in the console here, I'm going to go, it looks kind of large, you can see here. So if I do a, let's just say I have uh, data is equal to a array list of some data. So put here ID. Um, ID and then we'll put one, two, and then a second group. ID again of five, five, and then we'll just do one more. Okay, um, ID field of uh, seven. All right, so that's how ID of data, right? So it has this data in there. And if I want to check the key, there's a function called find key. So if I say let k, k equal key, return the key, uh, the index, actually it should be index, the index where the key matches, find the key, find the index, and it's, as you can see it's a function, so you can pass in the function for every element, I call it E, and when there is a match between the E of ID equals to the number ID of, uh, let's just say, 55, right? If that matches, and it's going to return that data back to me. And if I do ID X, you'll see that it matches the first index, which is 555. Okay, so if I do it again, if I put um, 155, if it doesn't match, I get a negative 1. Um, if there's no match. Okay, and then, so once I found a match, uh, 55 matches 1 here, we saw that. So you can do a splice now. You can say data dot splice at the IDX position, and I just want one of them. If you want to put, if you don't put anything here, it's gonna splice everything from that point out to the end of that list. So if you just want one, then you just put one here. That's the quantity of deletion elements. And if I did do that, you see that now data has been spliced, and I lost the uh, 255 ID, um, the index of the second position. Um, wait, it should have removed that. Well, because I did not, um, I did not even moved ID seven. Uh, yeah, one over here, zero, one, and two. Yeah, even moved, even moved the uh, the one after that. Um, okay, so, so yeah, if you moved it, it sliced it, and so that's the idea you want to use to to slice a data in here. Okay, so let's go and see how this is done in the code. Uh, but before I go there, I want to make sure that you understand what happened here. Um, because I just realized that I changed the index to a minus one. Okay, so the minus one here, because I, I splice it with the minus one, that means 
if uh, my, minus one index, well, you're actually counting from the opposite direction. So from the right side, that's why this seven was chopped off because of the index minus one is on the right side. Okay. Otherwise, uh, the 55 should have been removed instead of the um, uh, uh, seven. Okay. So let's close that and let's go and see how this works. So in here, the same idea. Uh, when I get the ID, I'm going to uh, set a temp. I'll just say let temp equals to this data flight flight data, right? So this uh, uh, state flight data, and then I'm going to find the key. So say let uh, let the index is equal to the temp dot find index. And I'm going to pass the flight data. So I'll just put flight here. And then the flight data, the flight ID matches this ID. Okay. And then I'm not too concerned about the strict type. Let's see what happens. Actually, just the value will be fine. And if that's the case, then we turn the index back at the index position. And then we now want to say temp that splice index and then only one from that list. And finally, we need to update the state. So this set state, I'm going to pass in here. The, we're going to modify the flight data with the new temp data. So as you can see, this part here, actually, we're actually making the uh, a new set of data for the flight data. So therefore, we touch the state. We touched it, and it's no longer pure, right? <laughs> so it's impure now. Because it's not pure, React will have to re-render the DOM. And that's how uh, this works. If it's pure, then it doesn't do anything because it, it, it just says that, oh, nothing changes. So therefore, do nothing. But once a data has been touched, either one of these, doesn't matter which one, okay? As long as the state has been altered, then it will be rendered the DOM. And that's what we did here. That's what this function does. It uh, make this state impure. And so now we are now good to go. And let's go and see how, see if this one works. So here we go. And just refresh it to make sure we are correct. And also show the console to show the output of the ID that we will be deleting. I'm going to delete Alaska Airlines number four. Okay, so you see the ID four is going to be moved. And it's also removed from the list here. All right, notice the index did not get reshuffled because we did not use the index. These are the actual ID in the list. So if I move the uh, number two, has been removed. If I go and move number 10, and so forth. So here we go. We just did uh, the CRUD operations for the delete. All right. So um, pretty good. Now, the uh, next thing I want to do is, since we're here already, I'm going to move this data and add it to um, a, a child component. You know what? I'm thinking maybe we'll do that in a separate video. So, uh, so far for now, the delete is working correctly. So we do that in the next video by moving this, um, all these things here to a child component.